My memory is fine. President Joe Biden speaking in a hastily called White House news conference Thursday night, just hours after a special counsel report was released. Robert Hur, the special counsel, writing in that report that charges would not be brought against Biden, although he wrote that Biden willfully retained classified documents after he left office as vice president, and that Biden even shared this information with the ghostwriter of his memoir. Biden forcefully pushing back against these claims. I take responsibility for not having seen exactly what my staff was doing. But the report was also critical about Biden's memory, saying that this was a big reason that they didn't bring charges, writing in part, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Her writing in that report that Biden couldn't remember key details of his life, including when he was vice president and when his son Beau died of brain cancer. How in the hell dare he raise that? Biden responding emotionally Thursday night to questions about his son. Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. I don't need anyone. I don't need anyone to remind me when he passed away. The late night press conference doing little to quiet concerns about his age from his critics. House Speaker Mike Johnson posting on X that the press conference, quote, confirmed on live television what the special counsel report outlined. He is not fit to be president. Former President Donald Trump, meanwhile, who is facing criminal charges for his handling of classified documents, criticizing the special counsel for not bringing charges against Biden, writing on Truth Social that this is now proven to be a two-tiered system of justice and unconstitutional selective prosecution. And President Biden didn't help himself in that press conference when he made a mistaken flub. Just moments after defending his memory, he was answering a question on the Israel-Gaza war when he accidentally referred to Egypt's president as the leader of Mexico. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.